Hello everyone, today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys my controller scheme, what I like to use when I play Punishing Grey Raven. Just a heads up, I mainly use my keyboard for the combat and the only time that I ever really use my mouse is to navigate through the menus. Before I show you my button layouts, I'm not sure if you know this, but you can actually customize the in-game UI. If you go to the top right, click on the settings icon, click on button position, and then click on two settings. And here, you, uh, it might look like this or like this depending on which config you selected during the tutorial but you can actually customize it if you click on customize config and now anything that has these rectangular white boxes you can click on them and move them around you can also make them really small or really big depending on you know it's your preference so you can go ahead and move them around and see what you like the most after you mess around with the ui with blue stacks on the right hand side you can click on this game controls button and click on open advanced editor and don't worry about this layout i'll go through everything what every button does with you and also i'll have this same exact control scheme config linked down below in the description for you to download and import it into blue stacks so you'll have the same exact one let's start with the basics on the bottom left we have the character movement wasd if for whatever reason you need to change the keys you click on one of them and then you click on the button on your keyboard so if y is your forward button you click on y on your keyboard you click out of it and then on the bottom right you click save and it'll save the layout it'll save the buttons and you're good to go above that and this is a godsend but i have the camera rotation set to q and e so whenever i'm playing the game and if i want to rotate the camera i click on the letters q or e on my keyboard and it is amazing and it's actually i'm actually surprised at how smooth it actually rotates around i think you're really gonna like this one to the right of that we have the numbers one and two this is how i switch my characters and once again it's really easy for me to reach the numbers one and two on my keyboard so that's why i have it set to that below that i have the button press with the letter f this allows me to talk to any character in the game or interact with any object in the world it is super helpful and convenient before i explain the buttons with the combos i want to go ahead and explain what's below that first i have the basic attack set to numpad four my dash to numpad Numpad 5 and my ultimate set to numpad 6. I know this sounds really weird, but if you put your fingers on numpads 4, 5, and 6, you can feel how comfortable that is. And I have the first three combos set to numpad 1, 2, and 3. And you can, if you move your fingers down below 1, 2, and 3, it is so easy. And also, for the fourth, fifth, and sixth combo, I have numbers numpad 7, numpad 8, numpad 9. And I can easily move my fingers down below the numpad and above the numpad, which allows me to pretty much combo my attacks very easily and it, the gameplay just feels really smooth when i do this this might take a little bit of time to get used to but once you do get used to it it feels really good also don't forget your ui might look a little different than mine so if your combo is down below at the bottom you can always just drag the numbers or the buttons down below uh, rearrange them to wherever your layout is at for those of you guys that don't have numpads on your keyboards don't worry because i got you covered these buttons might look a little weird but it's pretty much just the same concept as if you did have numpads on your keyboard for the basic attack we got the letter l the dash we've got the semicolon and for the ultimate we've got the quotation mark if you put your three fingers there you can kind of feel how natural that feels for combos number one two and three we've got the comma the period and the backslash this allows you to move your fingers from your basic attacks and your dash straight down to your comma your period or the backslash for combos four five and six we got op and left bracket once again it's very easy for you to move your fingers from your basic attack to combos four five and six if you have downloaded my config be sure to click on import find wherever your pgr controls config file is located at double click on it and it's gonna say import schemes you just click on default import after that you click on this drop down arrow you click on default if you ever want to mess around with any of these buttons if you don't want it on numpad a and you want it on the letter o for whatever reason you just click on o click out of it and then click on the bottom right click save just a little reminder this is how i like to play pgr this is my controller scheme and if this has helped you out be sure to let me know down below in the comment section and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day peace